Um, we'll be starting in two minutes, letting those who are waiting um, be starting in two minutes. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to um, a good discussion today. Two minutes. All right. Welcome, everyone. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. Uh, welcome to the continuation of our Dot Post Members Showcase webinar series. Um, for those who have been here before, you know the drill. We are doing a overview and outcomes and achievement session today. Today we have Tanzania Posts Corporation, who will be demonstrating and talking about their success with the um, stamps.tz.post site, which is a, an e-commerce site that is selling stamps, uh, a philately site, and perhaps more. So I think that will be um, explored today by our, our colleagues from Tanzania Post Corporation. And today we have Mr. At the, the key presenter, the Mr. Engineer Fifi, who is actually whose video is up. Hi, you can wave. I'll show who you are. Uh, Engineer Fifi is um, manager for e-business at Tanzania Post Corporation. Also from Tanzania Post um, online, we will have Mr. Godian Gaspar, who was a business analyst, and Mr. Ernest. El Elifas, who is an ICT officer who will also be joining us today, as well as other colleagues from Tanzania Post Corporation. Um, so as usual, before we begin the session, actually begin, I would like to ask colleagues to just indicate um, who you are, where you're from, um, what you're doing, you know, what, what post are you from, you know, what countries you're from, and just put that in the chat so that we could get a sense of who's here um, today. And as other colleagues join us, um, we expect to have um, approximately, you know, 40 or 50 people here today. Um, as colleagues join us, um, they can put that in the chat as well. So we see colleagues from Uzbekistan, welcome. And feel free to go ahead and use the chat. Um, you will just make sure and drop down to instead of host panelists to everyone, so we can all see who's here. Um, so George, um, you can just drop down and click to everyone so we can see that you're from Solomon Islands and the, um, Solomon is from, is it from, is it Me uh, Melanesia? I think it's Melanesia. Welcome Solomon Islands in, in the Pacific region. Welcome Habu from Nigeria. Welcome Philip from Malawi. Welcome Branka from um, Sarajevo, Bosnia, Herzegovina, 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 that's the correct way. Ah, yes, thank you, George, mostly Melanesia. Welcome, Angola, Pindali. Welcome, Samia from Kenya. And yes, please go ahead and introduce yourselves in the chat. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over now to my colleague from Tanzania Post Corporation. Oh, by the way, I've got to introduce myself. I'm Tracy Hackshaw. I'm from the Universal Postal Union. I am from the Dot Post 
business management unit. I am the chef de projet uh, or the dot post projects manager um, in charge of the dot post business management unit. So anything with dot post, um, you reach out to me. I'll put my information in the chat shortly. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. And um, I just recently joined, well, recently, not recently anymore. I've joined the um, UPU September from all the way from the Caribbean, all the way in Switzerland. So I'm here enjoying the sun, but also had a great time enjoying the cold. And it's going to be cold soon. So fun for me. Um, yeah, so without further ado, um, please continue introducing yourselves. Um, Engineer Fifi, over to you, and um, you can begin sharing your screen and um, hand over to you, and you can open up your mic. Thanks, everyone. Well, thank you. Wonderful yes, and we can we can see your screen. Very good. <clears throat> yes. Once again, I greet you all. My name is Engineer Fifi Kulwa from Tanzania Post Corporation. I'm acting manager of electronic business in my corporation. I'm very happy to be with you today, and I would like to welcome you to my this presentation. I hope it will be fruitful to all members. So, this is going to be the content of my presentation. There will be introduction, features of post space in Atom, there is benefit purchase, payment and deliver, also the area of cooperation, and the last, I will conclude with the recommendation. <clears throat> you see, nowadays the world has changed. Due to the rapid change of technology in the world, nowadays the people are changing their business. Most of the people, they are, they, are, they are shifted from the manual way to electronic way. Most of the people, now they are, they are, they are doing their business in electronic. So most of the people, they are, they are shifted. They are, doing, they are doing online business. I mean the e-commerce. So due to that challenges, the Tanzania Post Corporation as a reform and improvement the postal services in order to improve the, 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 the services and to meet the customer needs. And also in order to comply with the policies of the UPU, especially in the area of a digital system. Also due to that Istanbul World Postal Strategies, which was conducted in the 20 system under the digital transformation and the distribution of postal services in Africa countries. Apart from that, due to the due to the establishment of the UPU project, which is called ECOM Africa which has the aim to unite all Africa countries and later the continent world in one online business platform, just like Alibaba, Amazon, and eBay. So due to those three factors, as I mentioned, due to the technology changes, due to the world postal strategies, due to the Ecom Africa project, so due to those factors, as an post cooperation, so that it is an opportunity. By saying that it's an opportunity, we started to 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 we started to develop the online platform.
help to, to, to develop the online platform. Also, Tanzania Postal Corporation, under the sake of 2022 up to 2025, has been a member of UPU Council Administration and a member of UPU Postal Operation Council, TOC. Due to that opportunity, Tanzania has been also a co-chair TOC, which deals with physical services and the e-commerce committee. Due to that opportunities, <coughs> Tanzania Post Corporation has expanded its e-commerce services and up to now has already established the partnership with a Zimbabwe Post, my Kibo Rwanda, this is a private company which deals with e-commerce, it's available in Rwanda, also Burundi Post, also Dubai Post, Oman Post, and the Kenya Post. As I explained, that due to those factors, as I explained, Tanzania Post Corporation in print in, in, in 206, not to say in 2019, 2019 has developed its own online platform, which is used to sell the, the, the stamps. It's used to sell different stamps. As you know that state is the, the, the paper ambassador. As a country, we decided to, to advertise this paper ambassador called the stamp so that all the people around the world can buy their can buy our product through the, the online platform. And this achievement was achieved by Tanzania Post Corporation through the UPU. I think tomorrow I'll go deeper to explain how we, we achieve it. So the first shop called WW, the, the, the address of the first shop was www.stamps.tv.post. This is the address. This is the, our link, which we used to sell the, 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 the stamps. Once you, 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 you put that link in any browser, the first page will look like like you have seen on my screen. On your, at the right hand side, at the corner, you see that as the English, this is, you, you get a different kind of language, different categories of the language. We have more than 20 languages available in our website. What does it mean? This means that any country can buy the, the can understand our website and you can buy the, 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 the product from our website because he or she can change the, the, the language according to his or her nationalities. On the right side, on the left side, you will see there is a collection. This collection means this is just like an album. We have album of a different of different years as you stay. Once you click any collection, you'll get the album or you get the stems of those years. As you see below, this is the, the, the it's just like a different collection which is available in our website. For example, in 2018, <clears throat> we released uh, the, the collection of uh, the giraffe. You see, the giraffe, this is one of the big five 
animals in our country. Once you, you, you buy the, the stamp of the giraffe, you'll get this, a, a, a beautiful pictures of our big five in our country. And there is a lot of, 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 of collection in 2018. If you get time, you can visit our website and you'll enjoy a lot. Also in 2013, we had this collection. We have this different, as you can see from the, the picture. Also in 2009, there also a collection. In 2011, also there is a collection of uh, big five animals in our country. So we encourage all people to visit our website so that they can view, they can see all collection available in our, in our, in our, in our website. Apart from that, <coughs> there is also a different instance available in our, in our website. As you can see, the first sample, this is the, our our late national father, Maureen Julius Kambaragenyelele. This is was a, a, a lottery. Then in the second step, this is the late national father of South Africa, Nelson Mandela. Also the third stamp, this is discoveries from Gombe. The Gombe is one of the our national park in our country. There is a different animals available in this national park. So once you buy, you get more information from that. And we also you're welcome to visit our national national park. Also, there is another stamp. <clears throat> this is for environmental care. You know, as we as we explained that the stamp is is a paper ambassador. Through the paper ambassador, ambassador, we can promote, we can encourage, we can avoid the different activities. Here in, a, in this temple, we encourage people to 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 have to have care with the environment, to take care with the environment. So the stamp encourage people. The other stamp, this is a rhino, a rhino stamp. You see, in our country, we have five, five big animals. The other animals is rhino. I think this is the, the one of the giant animal available in Africa, and it's especially available in, in Tanzania. So once you get this stamp, you will enjoy a lot. And you are also encouraged to come to our country so you can see it physically. The other stamp, this is uh, the, the, the stamp from Zanzibar. You know, in our country, this is the, our country called it Tanzania, but the Tanzania was formulated from two names. The first name is Tanganyika, and the second name is Zanzibar. Is Zanzibar. So they took they took three words from each countries and they formed the name Tanzania. So Zanzibar is one of our of our of our, of our country. As you see from the from the picture, this is one of the museum. This museum was used to to to, to keep the slaves during the the, 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 the the travel, if they want to take the slave from from, from Tanzania to, to Oman or to any other countries, this is the place where they kept the, the slaves. So we, 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 we kept all of this for the, for the historical. <clears throat> As I explained, you see, our beautiful website, our beautiful system, which is used to send the, the stems, has the following features. 
all has the following characteristics. The first characteristics and the major one is the security. Our system is more secure because we hosted or we used the, the dot post. Since we use the dot post, we, we had never received any inquiries considering the hacking of the system, maybe the fraud of the payment. We never experienced that issue. We never explained that situation. So due to this security, we, we encourage all the people, we encourage all the post offices to use the dot post domain, they will be more secure. Also, due to these securities, it advertises more our 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 if letter on the internet. People they understand more if letter in our in, in, in the different social media, different website and different users of the internet. So it's more secure. I encourage all other countries or other post offices which are not very which are not yet join the dot post. We encourage you to join as much as you can. Also the second features of our beautiful e platform is the language and the currencies. As you see from the website, once you log in, you see you have a room, you have an option to, to change the language. We have more than 20 languages. So you can change the language according to your nation, nationalities. And you can understand more about the different products available in our website. Also, the, 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 the feature, the other feature is the currency. You know this is the, the, the flattery website. We target all the, 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 the customer all over the world. So we give them the option. Once they buy, they can change the language. They can use maybe you are a foreigner, you are in the USA, you want to pay in USD, you can pay. Or you want to pay in a, in a China, China currency, in, a, in Japanese currency, we have a lot of currency. <laughs> so you can change and you can pay and then you can buy through our website because it's an international website. <clears throat> Another characteristic features is delivery. You know, as a Tanzania Post Corporation, we provide the fast and efficient delivery through our transportation facilities. We have a lot of transportation facilities. We have motorcycles, we have big truck, we have cars, different cars. So all those transport, transportation facilities I used it to deliver the, the, the product from different locations, from different areas all over the world. We used the the, the, fly, the train to deliver the, the item or the product all over the world. And the, internally, we use this, this facilities um, you have seen in on the photo like motorcycles, we have those cars, trucks, those are used internally, but internationally, we use the flight. Another feature or characteristics, our issue, our, our if Latin platform is available 24 seven every day. So due to that, the customer can sell can enter the store at any time he or she wants anywhere over the world the only condition is to have the internet once you have the internet 
you have iPad or any accessories which can be used to access the website. The website is available 24 seven. So we encourage all the people, all the members to visit and to buy. You can test. Even the midnight you can test it login if the system is available and you can meet the order and we as Tanzania Post Corporation will take your order to your to your country as quick as possible. <clears throat> as I explained before, these are the benefits which we 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 enjoy a lot from the using dot posts. The first one is the positive impact on the provision of postal services are accessible to all people in the United Republic of Tanzania and the government. As I explained that the dot post, it advertise or it press the postal services in the internet. So due to that characteristics, the people of the United Republic of Tanzania, they understand more our product, they understand more our services because we are using dot post. So we encourage other member countries, go to dot post. Once you go to dot post, your postal services will be known easily by your citizen. People that will understand more your services because we are using the dot post. The second one, it enables the rural and the undeserved communities to access online transaction and receive their product on time. Because we are using we are using the dot post. The rural areas and other communities, they can as they can access our online transaction and they receive the product. There is no breakdown, no flood of the of the website because it is more secure. So we encourage other members to use dot post. So you are rural, even in the rural areas, people that can get this access and they can do their transaction without Flowing of, of the website of your system. Also, due to dot post, we enjoy a lot about the to share and integrate innovative solution and the capabilities with other business entities. You know, because the dot post is more secure, people they trust it. They know this is the trusted source. So there are there most of the of the companies they are willing to to join us they are willing to integrate with us because they integrate they, 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 they integrate with the secured secured web, website because of the dot post so due to this i can share it with uh, now we are in the process to complete the integration with the Oman post we integrate the Oman Post with Tanzania Post. Also, we are in the process to integrate with the, 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 the Rwanda because it is a trusted source. Also, uh, other benefit we enjoyed a lot from Dot Post is to provide our customer to access global track and trace application that allowing them to track item order through the final delivery so that the customer be happy and increase the trust. You know, the, 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 the customer, because there is no hacking of the system, no one can hack the system. No one can temper the system. Because we are, most of the customer, they, are, they, they can track their, their, their product, they can track the item to know from the, from the beginning to the, to the end from the source to the destination. And they can get all the information. Because there is no hacking. Once they're hacking there, the, the hacker can, can mislead the, the customer. 
and the customer can get the right information. So because we are in the in the in the trusted source, we are trusted in dot post, the hacker cannot hack our system. So our customer enjoy a lot the, the, the services they get from us and posts. Also, the other benefits we enjoyed it, it helped to join to other EU member countries. Let me emphasize this. You know, all uh, all, mem all other countries, all, all other member countries, we are under UPU. So, due to this, let us love our, our, our product. Let us love our product. Let us use our product so that we can speak one language. Once we speak one language, I mean, let us all use the dot post because it is our product and we as a member countries, we are under umbrella of UPU. It's not good to go to other domain to put our system there while we have our only domain, which is dot post, and it is under UPU. Because we are a member of UPU, let us join, let us use our, our product for our, for, to our system. Also, you know, as the Zena Post Corporation, we judge a lot from that post. That's why uh, I want to share a lot from a lot of experiences we enjoyed from that post. So the other, it gives a big opportunities to small and media enterprises to integrate and to provide their product in our website. You know, now, as I told you before that in our country, we have two online platforms. We have the first platform for selling the Fibaton and the other for selling the, the different products like Alibaba, Amazon and eBay. So due to dot post and due to the security and due to the availabilities of the, of the system all the, all, all, all the time, it helped the, the small and medium enterprise in, in entrepreneurs to, to, to upload the product in the system, to advertise the product on our system because they are the, 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 they see this is a trusted source. So they believe on our cooperation, also they believe on load costs. So they don't, they, they have no worry of using our, our product. Also the revenue for STEM is increasing after starting to sell the STEM online through our website. You know, because there is no hacking, no flouting, people they can get their their, their order at a, at a, at a respective time. So the, the the revenue for stems was started increasing from day to day because you know there is this only digital philatelicity. They saw our website is 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 used the the trusted the trusted domain which is dot post. So they have no worry to, to, to make the order to our, our platform. And we get a lot of uh, comments. Yeah. So we encourage you to, to, to use this. Also to provide various facilities like tracking customer order online, doing order dispatch, paying online through banking, mobile credit and transaction details. Because our system is very trustful because we use the dot post. We didn't get any kind of inquiries considering about the payment problem. Maybe the customer got the payment problem during the during the process of buying the stamp. He got maybe he got some challenges or someone is stolen his or her money. We didn't get any kind of information or any kind of inquiry. So we encourage you people to use this dot post. 
your customer will enjoy a lot. Your customer will never lose their money once they are doing the transaction. Also, it offers the huge opportunities for tracking new collectors from areas of the world where the stamp collecting is practical and known. As I explained, that the, the, the debt post, it, it, it gives more descriptions of our of the postal product in the internet. So due to that, the, the collectors, STEM collectors, they can get more services from our our our, our posts, our, our post platform, especially here in Tanzania. Most collectors they use this our philatelic stem. They can collect, they put the order on the system, they buy the, 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 the different collection from our system. And we as Tanzania Post Corporation we take their orders and send to the respectively destination or respectively location anywhere, everywhere in the world. So we encourage you other members to make sure that you, you, you use this dot post because it's trustful. You'll get more customer, more digital flatterist we we're gonna use your, your, your system and you increase more revenue. <laughs> so uh, this is how to purchase. This is how to purchase, how to make order from our system. Once you 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 log in to our system, this is the procedures how you will make the order, how you get the philatelic stem from our system. Once you log in, you 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 we as Tanzania Post Corporation will we will require to will we will force you to get the information so that the, the, the system will give you the the, the, the the option so that you can enter your your details these details are more important because it will help us to know where you are and how can you get your 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 your, your order so a customer creates an email account for communication with the TPC. That email account will be used for communication. Maybe if there is any inquiries. Also, this will be used for tracking and trace his or her order. A customer order the stem by selecting the stem and fill the required information on the provided online form. As you, as I explained. You, you, the customer will log into our system and they will choose the collection, which collection he or she prefer to, to, to make an order. Once he choose the collection, the proper form will, will, will display and he or she required to, to fill the, the information for deliver as shown on the screen. So once the, 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 the if all the information, we as Tanzania Post Corporation will get them that information of the of the of the customer. And we as Tanzania Post Corporation after making sure that the customer has made the payment, will take his or her order and we deliver to the to his or her destination. So, how to make the payment? The system automatically adds up the delivery cost and the price of the product to get the amount of customers to pay. The customer is offered a variety of options for payment. So, in, in our country, in, in, in our country, we have different options for payment. We have the mobile payment. Our customer can pay through the Tigo Pesa. We have Tigo Pesa. This is mobile network operator. Different mobile operator, network operator like Tigo Pesa. We have M 
Pesa, we have Airtel, we have Halotel, we have we have, we have uh, Zantel. All those are the option which the customer can use to do the, his or her payment. Also, the customer can use the credit or debit card. For those customers who they, they, they are not willing to use the, the mobile network operator, they can use the credit or the debit card to do the, the to make the payment. So you are the, as, a, as a member, you can use the, the, the debit or credit card, whatever you are. You can do the payment, and we as Tanzania Post Corporation we will receive your order, and we can see the, uh, your payment, and we will take the order to your country. So the delivery, the purchase system are delivered through the postal network up to any location in the world specified by the customer. This customer is given a tracking number to track the status of the stamp delivery. As I explained earlier that due to the information, due to the information fed by the customer, it gives us the, the clear picture where our where the product is supposed to be sent. So we as Tanzania Post Corporation will send the, 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 the we'll send, we'll, we'll deliver the, the order wherever you are. Internally, we use those tracking facilities like motor sample I have, have, have seen in the, in the screen. But for international, we use the flight. In our country, we have this Air Tanzania. We have a contract with, the, with the, this company. It used it to carry our bags for different for different locations for different destinations. So we encourage you that once you order your your, your, your product, you get it instantly. <coughs> so these are the area where we can cooperate. You know, we we are all other, all countries. We are under umbrella of UPU. So I think this is the area where we can cooperate. Once we do the the cooperation, I think we can we will in, increase more revenue of our of our product. This is the slogan. Before I continue, let me read the slogan. It says that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So we encourage all other member countries, all UPU countries, let us join together so that we can go far. Tanzania Post Corporation believes in going far, hence collaborating with other posts in different strategic areas is very important. If we join forces, electronic, electronic business will grow exponentially. The following are the areas where we can cooperate. The first area is to interface our collateral shop with other countries. If you have if latter in your country, or if you have uh, any website, any system, any kind of the system you are using to sell or advertise their product, we can interface with our issue. Our issue can be joined through the integrated with any countries or different countries. So let us join. We have started with the Oman Post. We are in the, we are in the process of, 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 of interfacing our e -filatum. Also, we can establish this joint thing because many countries have a different historical background. We can establish joint thing to different countries, all member countries. 
After that, then we can publish in our website or on our if you like the shop. And all people, all the around the people, they can see our 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 our, our stand and they can buy. And we can get the, the, the benefits from that. <coughs> the other area where we can cooperate is the technology and knowledge exchange. Exchanging knowledge on the best ways of technology that operate in the e-commerce industry. The more experienced the post can help the adults to gain knowledge. For example, here, I think uh, Tunisia Post and Nigeria Post have already implemented this QR stand. Because now people, they are moving. They are not going to physical stand, they are going to digital stand. They are digitalized to their stand. So because th that technology is not well known to other member countries, we can, change, we can share the knowledge, we can change the technology so that all the other member countries can adopt that technology and they can implement to their respective countries. So we as dot post members, we must make sure that we have this technology for all knowledge exchange through our countries. Also, other area where we can cooperate with the marketing. In order for the store to run efficiently, and the profitabilities, we need more trust. Hence, we can advertise each other store in our respective countries so as to drive more trust on our sites. We can do this joint marketing. We can do joint marketing so that we can increase more trust to our, to our, to our system. And you can get maybe the, some percentages according to the, to, the, to, the, to the MOU. So we encourage we as a dot post members, let, let us make sure that we, we market our product. We can join, we can do this joint marketing for each country. All the dot posts through our, and the UP can help us to advertise more on this marketing strategy. Also, other area where we can cooperate is to joint stem collaboration integrated with e philatelic database. You know the philatelists have their association. They have a different association according to different countries. I think each country I, I don't know well, but the, I think the UPU can help us maybe to identify the philatelist association. So once we, we know this association, it can help us to, to interface or to integrate with the database or to integrate with their system. Once we integrate with their system, it will be increase more revenue to our, to, our, to, 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 to our our country because we'll get more philatelity philatelistic at once because we are using their association we are using their system so more philatelity will have an access to to view our our our, our philatelist things because we have integrated with them. So my request here is to, that as a dot post, let us help us to, to, to know this philatelist association and to make sure that to, for those countries which have already have this system, like Tanzania, have already have this philatelist system for selling stamps, it can be an example for, for, for integrating with those associations. So other countries, they can follow. Or if there is other countries, they can, they can help us to, <coughs> to achieve it. Also, the other areas where we can cooperate is to share new technology and how to sell Silatin. As you see, as I explained, like 
the Tunisia post, Nigeria post, I think they are really very far from this Latin. As you member, I think they can help us to know more technology, which ways, which model they are using to increase more revenue for this filatel. So that we as dot post member, we can get the advantage from it and we can get more revenue from our cooperation. Also the other area where we can cooperate is to share experience about services arriving to other countries to like tell it so. So due to this point, I think uh, as a dot post member, we can share more experiences. Right? As they have a frequent experience, maybe after one month or two months, let us have a, a, a meeting so that we can share the experience. How do you get this? How do you buy this? How do you achieve this? So that another country can learn. Another country can get benefit from that. If there is an opportunity for, for them to come and get more knowledge for that countries, let us support them. As a UPU, as a dot post member, let us support those countries so that we can go together. <coughs> so, this is my recommendation. The first recommendation is dot post should financially support its member when they plan to visit the other countries physically <coughs> on technological and knowledge exchange, especially the advanced philatelic countries like Tunisia, who have implemented QR still. You know, there are some technology, technological. This technological or knowledge, you can't get it in virtual or during the online meeting. Some technology, you'll get it once you visit physically in a specific country or the respective country where I have already succeeded to implement that kind of the technology or that kind of project. So that you, you get a room for question, for testing some of the devices, for checking some of the processes so that you can get all those information at once and you'll get those information and you'll take it back to your country and you'll implement. I'm very interested with this Tunisia post. You know, in order to capture this digital philatelist, we need to implement this QR stem. So, because the, the, the Tunisia post has already implemented and they have already succeeded, <coughs> we as good post member, we should learn from Tunisia post. And once we get the obstacle, call, the dot post member or the dot post and the UPU, let us support us so that we can achieve it. We can have a strategy. Maybe after during the year, maybe we, 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 we choose three countries or four countries or five countries to make sure that they, they implement this, maybe the QR stamp. And we, we, we are going to facilitate or we are going to share the cost. Uh, the organization will, will maybe will share the half of the cost or whatever, any kind of food strategy. So that all other member countries, all other not post, not post member countries, they can be able to implement. Otherwise, we can do this meeting, yeah, a lot of meeting. But you, once we come again after three or four, one month, one year, other not post member countries, they will remain the same. But we need to have a strong strategy. So that all the post members, they have a system, they, they have a system for selling the stamp, 
they have to digitalize the same for by using the fewer thing so that they can they can do more. Okay. My, my second recommendation is dot posts should help member countries to integrate the e philatel shop with philatelist association, which you pay recognize in order to increase revenue to our issue. You know, in order to, to recognize this philatelist association, I think UPU and the Dot Post should help us to identify the genuine philatelist association. You know, once you go to Google, you can get a lot of association. But how do you know this is the genuine philatelist association? My suggestion, my suggestion here is to don't post as a don't post member. Let us make the strategy by helping by 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 by, 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 by helping of UPU to make sure that we identify the genuine philatelist association, so that you can you can you can display through our through the, our dot post website. Or you can send through the different to, to the different countries. This is a genuine association, and these are the procedures. If you want to communicate with them, if you want to integrate with them, I think that will be more fruitful to our to our country because it's very difficult to identify the the the, 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 the genuine association. And you know, in order to increase the more revenue of our our of our of our, of our e philatel, this philatelist must understand your 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 website, must understand your system. So once we integrate with those associations, oh, the post will be the, the other name. Also, my third recommendation is UPU through dot post should arrange a visit for member countries to the UPU STEM hub for more practical learning and the implementation. You know, we have a lot of meetings we conduct, we have conducted the online. But we have the STEM hub. I think it's available in, 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 in Bell. I don't, I don't know where, but I think it's available in Bell. As a dot post member, we can arrange one visit so that we can get we can learn more. We can learn more how they are, they, they are doing, how they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, their their challenges, what what kind of devices, what kind of machines they are using. No, I think due to that we can get more knowledge. We can get more 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 more. more technological expert from other <coughs> from other member countries especially for those people who are con conducted this stamp hub oh i have a lot of recommendation the first recommendation is upu through that post should help member countries to implement new technology of certain stems this is digital flatten, NFT stems or critical stems. I think this point I've already explained. Like I've said, uh, the, 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 the best practice is Tunisia Post. Let us, as a dot post, we can learn from Tunisia Post so that we can go together. So, so I recommend the UPO through the dot post, we can have this strategy make sure that all your member have succeeded to implement this link of Latin. And the best practice is to list your post. Also, my fifth recommendation is UPU through the dot post should prepare a special seminar for digital marketing in order to help member countries to increase the revenue and the trust on our issue. You know, we are doing the online business. 
but most of the people or most of the uh, member countries they don't know this how to implement digital marketing so that they can increase the revenue i propose the dot course through the upo to prepare a special seminar for his members of dot course how we can market our 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 our, our system how we can market our system, our, our dot post. By doing that, I think that our revenue will increase more. And we, we, by doing that, we'll encourage more members to join. Without doing that, I think the, the other members will have other options. I suggest to prepare maybe a, seminar, a special seminar for that. So this slide take me to the end of my presentation. I would like to say thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. And uh, let me say welcome to Tanzania. In Swahili we call Karibu Tanzania. And uh, have, have you, uh, as you seen from my, my PowerPoint, this is the giraffe, and this is the Mount Kilimanjaro. This is the giraffe, this is the, the cheetah. I think that once you come to our country, you'll get the, the, the cheetah who is climbing the, the tree, the first cheetah climbing the tree. It's only available in, in Tanzania, especially in Serengeti National Park. And this is Tanzanite. This is the Tanzanite, which is the mineral available in, in, in Tanzania. By doing that, let me say thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Chair, I submit. Thank you very much, Engineer Fifi, for a fantastic presentation and some very, very <coughs> insightful recommendations. Um, many of them for dot post, which uh, we will certainly take on board, and for the UPU. Um, but I guess at this point, I do have um, opening up for questions from the audience. I have a question I would like to ask, but let's see if there's anybody who would like to ask their question first. Um, is there anyone who would, um, has a question? Please feel free to use the chat. Um, the Q&A box, or perhaps you may wish to use, raise your hand and perhaps we can have you join in the conversation if you like. I can unmute you to, to, to say any, to say your question now. So while we wait for that, I have a question. I'm going to put it in the chat here. Um, so my question, uh, Engineer Fifi, is does Tanzania Post have any plans to sell digital stamps or crypto stamps? You would have heard of by now that Austria Post and Swiss Post actually um, just this week launched their second round of crypto stamps, um, which have almost been sold out. They sold 250,000, well, this, the first round was 175,000 stamps um, and about 850 francs per stamp. So you have seen, you can imagine the revenue that was sold there. And this round, uh, my understanding is I bought in this round, um, they sold, they're selling about 250,000 crypto stamps and <clears throat> with NFTs attached to them, digital twins, and they've sold almost all already uh, at nine francs per stamp. So given the revenue opportunity for digital stamps and crypto stamps, does Tanzania Post have any um, plans to sell digital stamps or crypto stamps and I'm making a difference between the two here there's there's a difference and if so what if any changes or or, or uh, adjustments you have to make to your current environment to allow for something like that to happen that's my question oh thank you thank you for your uh, good question you know, Tanzania Post Corporation 
has a strategy to implement that digital scam. But the main challenges we have is how we are going to implement. That's the main challenge. That's the major challenge. But in our in our in our current year, the other year, we have that strategy so that we can implement the digital stamp in order to to increase the the, the, the revenue opportunities. That's why you have you seen from my presentation. I mostly insist to the digital stamp, the digital stamp. We have that strategy, but we have that challenge. How are we going to implement in our country? How are we going to capture that technology? Who are, who is going? Who is responsible to for maybe for some questions for benchmarking? That is our major problem. But we, we as Tanzania Post Corporation, we have that strategy because we want to capture this digital philatelist. So in response to that, because I think you, you are, you are, you are, uh, basically you're saying there is a plan, but the how is uh, not clear. Um, so just from the .post perspective, um, we actually have a member of the dot post group, a private sector member called Stamp who is working on crypto stamps as we speak. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe they're offering pilot projects to posts in the Africa region through an MOU with uh, PAPU, the Pan African Postal Union. So, um, for those who are in Africa, uh, members of PAPU, um, perhaps one way to, to get this moving is to contact Papu um, or Stamps that directly. Or you can reach out to us at the dot post group as well to get the connection because it's entirely possible. And, and I mean, I'm not exactly certain where the pilot is in terms of uh, cost requirements and so on. But I do know that Cote d'Ivoire has already jumped on. And, and if you go to stampsdark.com, you will actually see a live deployment of Cote d'Ivoire. I, I don't want to name other posts, I understand other posts have already signed up and are working with stamp stack already. So if you're interested in, in digital stamps and crypto stamps, there's it's probably a good opportunity there. The reason why I'm, I, I'm asking these questions is because obviously there seems to be a, a revenue opportunity here for um, what I would call um, new stamps that are or, or new or new items that could be placed in the stores that could get an audience that is beyond, I guess, the traditional stamp collection audience, the, the philately audience. So it seems as if, um, for example, in Austria and Switzerland and and I believe Croatia and, and countries like that, um, where there are there are quite large uh, philately um, markets, they have gone beyond them and they've gone into the markets that I guess are younger, um, more inclined to buy collectibles or rarities. And because they're digital, because they're linked to NFTs, they also tap into that other, you know, you, you may or may not believe or, or understand the, the NFT craze, but because they're using NFTs as part of the, the attraction, they seem to be getting that, that sale. And because stamps, are actually one of the more cost effective ways to get involved in this this um, environment it's entirely possible that you may you you, you may get an, an easy avenue in to the new wave of um of crypto and digital stamps so as you as you saw um they're selling the the in switzerland they're selling the stamps for nine francs so not the millions of dollars that you get for nfts or thousands of dollars so it's a very easy way to get yourself involved in I as a user now in the in the NFT and, and crypto um, industry. And what Switzerland did, which I found to be very intriguing, you did not have to have a, a, a crypto wallet to, to buy the stamp. You can actually use your traditional um, banking infrastructure, your credit cards, and even I believe debit cards to buy the stamps. As a matter of fact, they actually sold the stamps in the stores as well. Um, just to make sure it was on offer to everybody. So 
you can get them you can walk into a store a physical presence and buy this you get a hard copy but you also get the digital twin that's going to be sent to you by electronically and in my case i'm by when i buy it i'll get it posted to me and the the, the physical um physical stamp as well as the but well, the twin will come electronically and then i put the, the digital twin in my wallet my my crypto wallet mm -hmm. so i can have it there available so i think that's something that um Tanzania and as well other posts can look very carefully at because if you want to grow this this the sector and you want to earn some additional revenue this seems like a good way not only of growing for that piece of the revenue but you also can get your other products that are in the uh, in the store you know sort of pushed into the limelight as well so at least that's that's one piece of advice I could probably give um so it'd be good to hear if there are any other Questions, but maybe a response from you, Engineer Fifi, onto that. Any thoughts on that? Engineer Fifi, if you're talking, we're not hearing you. I was asking if you had any response to that um, that statement I was making about using stamps, staff, and others to to get digital stamps on boarded. Yeah, I think. Uh... <coughs> Due to the your explanation, I think I will contact with the respective department so that we can get the more information from her. After getting more information from her, then we can get the the starting point. Yeah, because there was a design an MOU at the last Papu meeting with Stamsda. And I believe that MOU um, can would, would be able to, to reach to Stanzani and other in Africa. Um, I'm not sure what the content of the MOU is, but I believe there's some opportunity there for, for posts in Africa to, to, to take advantage of what, what was uh, agreed to that MOU. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm waiting to see if there are any further questions from the audience. Are there, is there anybody want to make a comment or, or have ask another question? Um, I saw someone saying thank you, which is good. Thank you from Heinz. Um, anybody has any questions? There's nothing in the Q&A box. And I don't think there are any other questions coming in. Um, so if not, I'm going to put in the chat the tomorrow's session, which would be this link. You register using this link, uh, which is a technical deep dive into this um, uh, solution that was developed by Tanzania Post Corporation. So that is the registration link for tomorrow's session. It starts at the same time, which is 1100 Central European summer time, which I believe is um, similar in many countries in Africa, but also not too far away across the continent. You know, it's, it's uh, in a couple hours here and there. So it's same time as today. So please feel free to register for that session if you haven't done so already, uh, where we expect that um, Tanzania would do a, a deeper look into the, um, the solution that they've deployed and get into the implementation steps, as well as the technical issues that they um, had to deal with. And um, you can ask your technical questions there tomorrow. All right, so just seeing if there are no further questions, doesn't seem so. Um, going once, going twice, and three times. So there seems to be no further questions. So maybe I could go back to you, Engineer Fifi, to um, give your thanks and um, welcome colleagues to join tomorrow as well. Okay. Oh, thank you very much, Dot Post members, for your attention, for your for your question. Let us join together. Let us join our hands so that we can improve our our, our postal services. And for those countries who have not yet joined the DOT post, I encourage you all make sure that you join the DOT post. And we as other member countries who have already joined it, We'll give you the support. Thank you.
and I would like to welcome you for the next presentation, which will be done on tomorrow. You are welcome. Don't miss. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Engineer Fif. Thank you very much, Engineer Fifi. And I put it into the chat, the, the link to find out more about the dot post group, which is info.post. So you can click on that link. And one more time, I'm putting the link to tomorrow's session, um, which is, this is how you um, join tomorrow's session. Um, and uh, for those who missed the, the links to the, um, stamps database that um, um, Engineer Fifi talked about. Here's the link to that, um, which is also a dot post project. Um, there's the actual database here. And for the for that, um, the World Association for the um, Development of Philately, WADP, here's the link to that association page on the UPU website, right? So I think you have all the links there. And for those who are asking, just to remind you, the slides will be sent at the end of the, the, the two webinars, both webinars, uh, tomorrow there'll be another one, as you said. Um, at the end of those webinars, we will actually send you the links to the slides um, once we get them from Tanzania Post. All right, so with that in mind, I do want to wish all of you a very good rest of your day. And thank you so much to um, Tanzania Post Corporation for their um, time and their and their willingness to to showcase their their excellent solution, and um, I look forward to seeing everyone here and even others who are not here today tomorrow for this technical um, discussion. And feel free to prepare your technical questions tomorrow for um, Engineer Fifi, who I'm sure will be very keen to answer them. So do enjoy the rest of your day or your evening or your night wherever you are and um for those who are going for lunch bon appetit and for those who are going to dinner <laughs> what's what's the, i don't know what's the french word fit but have a good dinner enjoy your meal and then again enjoy the rest of your day bye all enjoy the rest of your day and thank you once again for everybody thank Thanks. you thank you bye-bye bye-bye